Hi, I'm Andy Gallagher with Baker Home Energy, and congratulations on choosing Charge On, Baker's own virtual power plant energized by Sonin Connect. This video will help explain the incredible features available to you through the My Sonin app and web portal. This video will explain both as they're effectively identical. Let's begin. For web portal users, please log into your Sonin portal, which can be found at my.sonin.de. If you're using the Sonin app, you can log in using the same credentials. If you have any questions about logging in, please reference the email you received from Baker immediately after your installation. When you open the web portal, you will land on this dashboard, which gives us a general overview and snapshots of the four main categories. Live, Energy Analysis, Sonin Community, and Sonin Battery. If you're using the app, you will land directly on the live state, as there is no dashboard available. Now, let's review the main categories. The live state is an up-to-the-minute snapshot of the current state of power flow around your house. The movement of the dots indicates the direction of flow, and the numbers next to each component are live values. Your solar system, in yellow at the top, shows your live solar production and where energy is flowing. In the scenario shown, your battery is completely charged to 100%. Your excess solar production is powering all the loads in your home, and you are sending additional energy back to the grid. When tapping on each circle, you will see an explanation of what it represents. The analysis section is a more detailed overview of the components of your energy production and consumption. There are four main sections which you can toggle on and off in the portal, but not in the app. The yellow curve represents your solar production. The light blue represents energy you used directly from your solar panels, and the dark blue represents energy you used from either the grid or from your battery. The green line is the state of charge of your battery. 100% is fully charged and 0% is fully depleted. It is normal for this line to rise when the sun begins shining and fall when the sun goes down while your house consumes its stored energy. You can also move back in time to look at different days. Under the statistics section, you can look at totals over a single day, a full month, or an entire year. The Sonin Community section allows you to view the growing global network of Sonin battery owners who are collectively helping the grid and getting paid for it. The Sonin Battery section allows you to make critical changes to your battery. Let's focus on overview as the details and downloads tabs are purely for verification purposes. Under overview, you'll see some basic details of your battery, including its serial number. Should you ever need technical assistance, please reference this serial number. The status section is where you'll access your operating modes and your backup buffer. After permission to operate is granted, your battery will be set to self-consumption mode. This mode is a patented algorithm developed by Sonin to learn your energy habits and ensure that your energy bills remain as low as possible. It allows your battery to participate in the virtual power plant program and generate income on your behalf. In addition to avoiding purchasing power during expensive times set by the utility, it also learns when you use the most power, ensuring you have stored energy when you need it most. This is called the backup buffer. The backup buffer is the percentage of your battery that is reserved for a grid outage. Your battery will operate normally above that value, but not go below that amount until the grid is out. It's designed to give you peace of mind so you can participate in the VPP and retain energy for when you need it. To adjust that backup buffer, click the edit button. It will come set at 20%, which is our recommendation, but you can edit that percentage anywhere from zero to 100 in 5% increments. A higher buffer will reserve more energy if the grid goes down, but yield lower ongoing monthly payments from the VPP. A lower value will yield higher monthly payments, but reduce the charge available during an unexpected outage. 
You are free to change this value at any time to whatever you're comfortable with. Please allow 10 minutes for all settings to take effect. The other operating mode you have is backup only or emergency mode. We recommend selecting emergency mode in advance of when you believe there will be a grid outage. This ensures you maximize your available stored energy. Keep in mind your solar panels will need some time to charge your battery. Importantly, this will remove you from the VPP. When the grid returns, you'll need to manually take your battery out of emergency mode, at which point your battery will automatically return to self-consumption and you will again participate in the VPP. Now, let's take a step outside of the portal to the battery itself. The Sonin Halo is an excellent resource for troubleshooting. If your battery is functioning perfectly and connected to the grid, it will pulse white. During an outage, the halo will pulse green. This means it is an off-grid mode and providing energy to your backed up loads. A yellow light indicates an internet connectivity issue. Most of the time, resetting your internet router will solve this problem. If your halo is red, there are internal connection issues. Please reach out to our service department at 760-546-6099. For your safety, never open or attempt to service your battery. With that, we've covered the basic monitoring and control that you have over your Sonin battery via the My Sonin app. Congratulations again on participating in Charge On, Baker's own virtual power plant energized by Sonin Connect. If you have any additional questions, please visit the latest at our website at bakerhomeenergy.com or give us a call at 877 578 8080.